In order to be able to help us answer an evaluation question, what we're going to do is we're going to think about our own viewpoints about the selenites. So obviously you've had that statement on the previous slide, the selenites are very frightening, and we have to decide whether we agree or disagree with it. Now, the exam board always gives us a statement that you could agree with, or you could disagree with. And the best answers always have some ideas that agree with the statement and some ideas that uh, don't agree with the statement. So what we're going to try and do is we're going to try and fill in five reasons why we agree that the selenites are very frightening and five reasons why we think the selenites are not very frightening. But we need to make sure we use a word or a phrase from the text to support our viewpoint. Now, we've already got lots and lots of quotes highlighted, and we've talked about lots and lots of quotes already in our answers to questions two, three and four. So this actually is a question where we've done a lot of the work already. So what we want to do is we want to track throughout the text. So if you look on the column where it says four, the selenites are very frightening, we're going to find five reasons in the text, five quotes that agree that the selenites are very frightening. And what you're going to do is you're going to do them in tracking order. That means that your first quote will be the first quote you find that shows the selenites are very frightening. So that should be from near the beginning of the extract. And then in order of the extract all the way through to the end. So your fifth point about the selenites being very frightening should be something that comes from the end. And maybe you could use that quote where it says the thing was looking at us and that exclamation mark making it seem very, very frightening. I have given you one. I have given you one at uh, number four. So mine isn't right at the end, but it's quite close at the end. And I've said that the narrator sees the selenite features as, and the quote from the text is the word horror, which suggests that he's very frightened by the image. So that supports the statement the selenites are very frightening. OK, and then on the other side of the table, we're going to try and find five reasons why we disagree with the statement the selenites are very frightening. So I have given you one from the very start of the extract. So the first time the selenites are described, the word blank is used, which I think doesn't show that they're frightening because blank suggests we just don't know yet. It's mysterious, but we don't know that it's frightening yet. I've also have picked one towards the end of the extract where um, the joints on the selenite are compared um, to a crab. And actually, crabs are quite small. You know, you don't really get killer crabs. So I don't think that that's very frightening. It might be a little bit scary for some people, but I don't think that that's very frightening. So I've put a comparison to a crab suggests less threatening and a familiar link to humans. So what you now need to do is you now need to try and fill in the rest of the gaps. Now, if you can't do all... Um, all five and at least make sure you've tried to get at least four crates in each and obviously I've done one for the four statements so you need to try and fill in three or four of the boxes and then um, against the statement the selenites are very frightening I've all done two out of the five so really you could get away with just finding another two these uh, this table is really important because it's going to help you answer the next question